Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ron and today we're just going to be doing kind of an update video. I've been meaning to do these videos more often, uh, maybe like once a month or something because you guys seem to enjoy them. Just kind of saying what I've been doing, what I've been up to, either projects that I might be working on or potentially future projects as well as things that are going on in my personal life, uh, at least that I really feel like I would like to get into. Of course I'm not going to share everything, but I'll share a couple of things since I haven't made a video like this in a couple of months. So I've been really busy the last couple months, both doing stuff for the channel as well as doing stuff IRL. And I guess first up I would like to say a big thank you to everybody. I always want to stress how much I, I really appreciate you guys uh, for watching these videos, watching the Deep Rock videos, watching Killing Floor videos, watching the live streams, hanging out in the Discord. You guys really help out a lot in more ways than you might think, um, not just in terms of watching videos and interacting with them and whatnot, but also just helping me in general. It's very nice to have conversations with you guys. Unfortunately, I can't keep up with all the comments anymore on the videos. There's just too many that are coming out now. So if I don't get to your comments, I'm sorry. I don't intend to try to miss people's comments or anything. But I have tried just sitting down for sometimes hours at a time just responding to comments and they still just keep piling up. I will try to prioritize members' comments since they are paying for a membership which does help out a lot. And that is a great way to support the channel if you would like to. Um, of course it's not necessary, it's just you get early access to videos as well as some emotes which I have been meaning to get more emotes and uh, a couple other rewards too. Again, completely optional. If you don't want to or if you don't have the money, I completely understand. And same goes with anybody who cancels. I completely understand that too. But yeah, just a, a really big thank you to you guys. I really do appreciate it. It's very nice being able to talk to the vast majority of you. Anyway, one big announcement that I would like to make is that we do have new designs over at the merch store. And if anybody would like to purchase anything over at the merch store, there is always a link in the description of these videos, as well as I will be trying to um, kind of, I guess, promote them a little bit more on some of the other videos that are coming out. We have three new designs. Here's the first one. This is my Grim Reaper girl. She is now in armor, which looks great. I had ordered these designs a while back and I was hoping that they would come out around the time that we were doing like the Elden Ring streams, but it got pushed back and the I believe the artist also had, had gotten sick and went on vacation during the uh, process. So it got pushed quite a, a ways um, further from this and I just recently got them. The second design here is the Mel Reaper, which I think looks great. Um, if you'd like to get him, you can, or her, you can, as well as the third design features both of them. So if you like both of them and you can't decide which, you could always pick both of them. They're on their throne here. And this comes on all sorts of different things. This could be shirts. Um, I believe that I have some leggings on there. There's also some drinkware on there. So like water bottles, uh, mugs, stuff like that. So even if you don't, uh, stickers, so all sorts of things. Uh, if you would like to get it, you can. That helps out the channel a lot too. I really do appreciate that and I think the designs look great. I'm definitely going to be ordering me some of this. Probably like a cup and maybe a couple more shirts because I still got a lot of my shirts from the other Grim Reapers that we've done and there's plenty of stuff on the store. There's also the kind of new uh, Rock and Stone shirt too. So after the uh, self-plugging there, I guess I'll talk about some of the stuff that I have been up to over the last uh, I think two or three months since I made a video like this. It, the last one I think was the 15k subs, thank you. Which, thank you guys for getting us to 15k. We're at 16k now, which is awesome. The year goal that I really wanted to match, at least for 2022, is 20k. And I think that that's pretty doable now. Um, I really didn't know what this year would look like or how things would go. But so far, it's been absolutely fantastic, and thank you guys so very much for that, and special thanks to everybody who has come aboard this year, as well as the previous years, and everybody who's been sticking with the channel. I really do appreciate that. Now, moving on to some of the things that I've been doing outside of YouTube, um, there was a time where I was kind of missing videos and stream scheduling. Um, that was mostly because a lot of my stuff around my house, and actually my neighbor's house, was kind of breaking. Um, there was three incidents, I think, of the irrigation pipes outside breaking. One on my side and two on his side. So it all runs together, it just runs right through my yard. And I've hit it a couple of times when I've been doing other things out there. So I've had to fix it a couple of times. 
This last time though was probably the worst, where about 11 feet of it had just ruptured and broke. So I spent like a day, day and a half, I don't recall, trying to fix that. That took some time. And then right afterwards, my neighbor called me, said that he also had issues. This one was with a sprinkler originally, and we were trying to dig up to where it was. We didn't know exactly how it came off the line. Um, ended up hitting the line, broke it. And turns out there was actually two lines right next to one another. So I ended up cutting both of them, fixing both of them. And then like about a couple days, maybe a week later, went back over there and part of his uh, sprinkler system on the far end had also kind of knocked itself loose I guess would be a good way of saying it because it didn't break it's like the pipes just came apart so dug that up glued it all together in doing all that and doing all this work I had pretty much injured myself so I went to the doctor to see if it was something to worry about because it had been an injury that I had had multiple times Went to the doctor, wasn't super impressed by the doctor, I've never seen this one before, but said it was basically nothing. Um, probably muscle strain, muscle tear. Was feeling sore for a bit, but then started feeling better, as well as I also got a tetanus shot that day, so like the day or two afterwards, my arm was pretty sore. Uh, there was also another project that I did at my house, which was uh, replacing part of my roof. Um, actually, funny enough, I then helped my neighbor fix part of his roof. Um, his was to a lesser extent because it was out on like a, uh, a tin roof overlooking a patio, I guess, that they have out there. And that one just needed to be sealed up so that it wouldn't be leaking because uh, it, it had, I guess, gotten leaks over time or it wasn't fully sealed originally. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, either way, it seems to be fine now. For mine, the whole siding and the fascia, which is like the underside, at least I think it's the underside, um, of the roof had just been rotting away and there had been birds getting up in there. So there was birds up in my roof for the longest time. The wood had been rotting away, like I said, had been growing mold on it. So that all needed to go. Um, me and a family friend of mine, we tore the whole thing down and then put it all back up with metal and it looks a whole lot better. It looks like an actual... Uh, roof. So overall, I'd say it's been pretty fun the last couple months. Um, and I, again, I just really felt like I wanted to make a video that was thanking you guys again for just being awesome, being there so often. Um, it's it's really surprising and it really helps lift up my spirits, especially in days where I'm maybe not feeling the best either because I'm sick or I'm just feeling a bit down or something and just going on stream and, you know, talking to you guys. Uh, anybody wondering when I stream? I usually stream every day except for Mondays and Thursdays, twice a day, um, starting out at 9 bleh, starting out at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and then going for about two and a half to three hours. Then I usually take a break, get some lunch, come back, and we stream for about another two to three hours or so. Um, that one usually starts at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for anybody who would like to show up to those. I know it's not always at the most convenient time for a lot of you guys because you guys are at work and you can't really, you know, drop what you're doing. They are always up on the channel. I do try to put them in their own playlists. Sometimes I forget about that, so I do apologize if you're looking forward to a particular uh, playthrough or a particular list. He did recently play through both the Subnautica games and had a real fun time playing both of them. I, I thought they were really entertaining and I was glad that they won the polls. We're currently looking at the Outer Wilds right now, which I'm going to be picking up again this coming Tuesday. Um, which I think is tomorrow as to when I release this video. But yeah, thanks everybody. Again, I, I really do appreciate it. I would, I would really like to stress that point a lot. I really do appreciate all of you guys. It's a blast talking with you. It's a blast doing this for pretty much a job now. Um, and I would really like to continue doing it. Oh, there is one other thing that I would like to announce too. And that is, uh, we are going to be holding another charity stream. This one is going to be at the end of this month. That will be on the 26th. So in about five or six days from this, I can't remember exactly when that's going to be going up, but it'll be the 26th and it will be going for um, at least till the end of the month, probably into the next month for about a week. This will be for Anime for Humanity, which is a very fun charity. Uh, that I've worked with before in the past. This is a nonprofit organization that helps people 
get uh, mental health services for anybody who also enjoys things like anime, manga, cosplay, uh, games, comics, whatever it might be. It's a really cool charity in my opinion and one of my personal favorites. So if you would like to help out with the charity, that would be great. Even if you can't donate, that's perfectly fine. You can also uh, share the streams. That helps out a lot. Again, that will be from the 26th uh, of this month going for about a week. So from Sunday to a Sunday. So I guess one last thank you and I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys have a great day and uh, I just, I wish you all the best. Take care. Bye-bye.